All right, thanks for being here, everybody. Today I am <clears throat> pleased to be here to announce a major milestone in our efforts to maintain uh, the roadways in New Bedford. I'm also pleased to be here today dressed uh, as I would hope to dress every day at work, which is in a golf short and shirt and jeans. This is fantastic, especially on a hot day like this. Uh, but on a hot day like this, it's easy to forget uh, the harsh winter we had. We had uh, one of the harshest winters on, on record uh, here in New Bedford. We had some, uh, and I, I don't suspect too many people forget it, but we had some six and a half feet of snow on, on the ground. But what was, uh, what was remarkable about this winter were a few things. Lots of snow, a high volume of snow, a, uh, a snow in a very short period of time. Now, if you remember, it was kind of an odd winter. We're in the middle of January, we still had hardly had a snowflake, and then all of a sudden the snow started coming down and coming down and coming down. But the other big thing with this winter was just how cold it remained. Here in uh, the southernmost part of New England, uh, winters are usually marked by intermittent cold and then warm-ups. Right? Because of the Gulf Stream, things tend to warm up. Uh, and melt snow, so we don't usually don't have snow sitting around for a long period of time. But this winter was very different. It stayed cold, so the snow piled and piled and piled. And so many of you, this is sort of, uh, as I said, sit here and say to the uh, assembled media, this is sort of a uh, reunion of all, for all of us. We spent a lot of time together this winter talking about uh, about piles of snow and places where uh, we plowed and place and uh, the long work that our crews put in to clear the way and all the frustration associated with it. Uh, but what this winter left us with, uh, and it's no surprise at all, uh, were an awful lot of potholes. And in that way, New Bedford is not unique. But it's, it wasn't surprising because of the conditions. Uh, potholes are caused when water gets underneath the surface of the roadway and freezes. And, uh, and the, uh, the freezing, the, uh, the water expands and creates cracks in the in the surface and when there's a lot of water like we had this past year and a lot of freezing like we had this past year those cavities those holes uh, underneath uh, the roadway get bigger and bigger and bigger and so we've got we had as soon as the snow melted it laid bare uh, lots and lots of potholes and that's not news to anybody it's certainly the case here in New Bedford and certainly the case all in every urban area in uh, the Northeast you know the good news is uh, we've been working it. Uh, we've been working it uh, incessantly, right since the, the point at which the snow started to melt. Uh, we as a city decided we're going to get all over this. We got to get ahead of it. And you know what? It may, we not might not be able to fill every pothole immediately, uh, but our citizens deserve uh, the the attention to this basic government service. If we if we are to have uh, roadways that work well for residents and for businesses. We've got to, we've got to get right on this, and so we did. And so, uh, through uh, the leadership of Ron LaBelle, our commissioner of the Department of Public Infrastructure, uh, and his talented crew, and we'll uh, introduce you to them in a second. Uh, we started filling potholes, uh, one after another after another, and and lined the streets, uh, lined the cracks in the streets, so that the roadways would not open up any further. Uh, we'd love to be able to repave every roadway in the city, but no city is in America. Even the, the ones, uh, even the biggest cities like Boston and others are in no financial position uh, to do that, nor does the state have the money to do that. What we do instead is we maintain, and we do it better here in New Bedford than anywhere else. So we are here today um, to announce uh, a milestone in our efforts to, uh, to get business done for the city uh, without excuses, without uh, saying why we can't do it and why, uh, why it's so tough. Uh, today we are about to fill, since the snow melted this past uh, late winter, uh, our 10,000th pothole. Now that is, I will tell you, uh, potholes usually don't make the front page of the newspaper and potholes usually don't get people uh, excited to watch late night TV uh, news reports about them, but they are important. Uh, and it's, there's an important point here. And that's this. New Bedford is about getting things done. My administration is about getting things done. Uh, and this is, this is a, probably the most basic example of how we do this. To give you a little bit of perspective of this number, the city of Boston, 
uh, which has three times as many, three, which has roadways three times as long as the city of New Bedford, has not filled as many potholes as the city of New Bedford. Uh, far larger city in, in every respect, uh, and they, they haven't kept up with this. And you, if you look around the Northeast, you'd be hard pressed to find another city that has gotten on the problem of potholes like we have. It just isn't. And I really want to take this opportunity not just to mark this milestone and emphasize our commitment to getting things done for the city, but also uh, to uh, recognize the hard work of uh, DPI under Ron LaBelle's leadership, uh, his crew, who's uh, dedicated to this, who's been at it all the time, really, in the last several months, uh, Felix Fernandes, who's our, our uh, designated pothole guy, he's right there, he's going to, he's done, he is, uh, with the help of, of both Serge Haru and Jeff Correa, been able to, has been getting after this um, uh, all day, every day, uh, over the last several months. And Felix, I really want to just commend you for all of your hard work on this. And because it is, look, we usually call, we usually don't call press conferences to mark uh, the filling of, of a pothole, but this is really a significant, it's really a testament about uh, how, how this particular city understands its role as a uh, as a steward of, of the physical assets of the place. New Bedford will uh, remain competitive uh, as a place to invest and as a place and a, an appealing place to live because we provide uh, some of the finest services of any city in the United States. We really do when you get right down to it. So uh, I want to thank uh, in particular Ron LaBelle for all of his hard work over, um, over uh, every day and all day. And Ron usually gets uh, gets to talk at press conferences about the opening of parks and other bigger things, but I think this sort of thing makes Ron as proud as, uh, as anything. So, Ron, thanks for everything that you do, and uh, I'm glad I get to dress like you today. Come on up and say a few words. Thanks, man. A lot of people complain about road maintenance. Um, we just don't have the funds. You know, rule of thumb for us is if we invested $10 million a year for 30 years, our roads would look great and then we'd have to start all over again. So all we can afford to do is, is maintain roads. And, you know, our roads aren't in perfect condition, but I would characterize them as safe. And, and that's, that's the key, you know, for the public. You can drive down a road and not hit a pothole and not get in an accident and not get hurt. And that's, and that's the key and that's our goal. And... Um, as you can see, we've been very, very successful at that, and you know, hats off, you know, to Felix and his crew. Um, they've pretty much last five months put their lives on hold. They've been working six and seven days a week, ten to twelve hours a day, during the daylight hours here. So, it's it's been a huge task. Uh, we've been very successful at it, and um, I'm very proud of our men. They've done a great job. Thank you, man. All right, thanks, Ron. So. One final comment, and I'll take uh, questions if any, then we'll go and fill that 10,000 plot hole. So understand that we're not done. I hate to break it to Felix who's here, but we're, we're, we're definitely not done. We're, we're not stopping at 10,000. We're continuing on. There are many other potholes out there in the city, but we're going to get after it. Felix and his crew are going to get after it uh, because, uh, because that's what our residents are entitled to. So we're, until it starts snowing again, until the snow piles everything over again, we're going to be... Uh, at this. Uh, I, what I will tell folks is if you have a pothole, let us know about it. Please tell us. Uh, uh, the number you should call is, is DPI's number, which is 508-979-1550.